morning. I'm Jerry Brinkman. This is Berean Nation. Now, this morning I feel like I need to address a controversy of sorts that's arisen. And once again, sadly, I think we need to lay this controversy directly at the feet of a gentleman named Brandon House. Uh, Brandon House, just to give you a little bit of background on, on the major player here, um, works for, I think it's a web show called Worldview Weekend. And, you know, it's kind of a discernment ministry. They expose uh, weirdness that goes on in the Christian world. Um, it seems, though, Mr. House lives for the big scoop, the expose, the sound bite, like most other reporters I've actually had to deal with over, over the years, but um, some of them are respectful, some of them not so much. I don't know Mr. House personally. Uh, given his behavior, I'm not sure I would ever want to be interviewed by the gentleman. Um, but having said that, uh, you know, he's, he's got a ministry, he does his thing. Um, so what happened was that he essentially flat out accused a gentleman named Justin Peters of giving Dr. David Jeremiah a free pass and instead politely can you know politely disagreeing with the uh, whole multi-faith uh, dialogue that embroiled James White last summer which is look it's put to bed we're not gonna go there anymore <laughs> okay but um, yeah anyway it seems that what Brandon House says indicates to me that he has either the world's worst memory or he lied. And those are pretty much the only two conclusions I can come up with. He told, uh, in video format, the world that Mr. Justin Peters gave Jeremiah... Jeremiah, Dr. David Jeremiah, a free pass. So, in response, and I, I have to say, I really think Mr. Peters did the right thing. His response to Mr. House was both measured and appropriate here. He went and he found the web show interview, and he played the relevant clips explaining to Mr. House that he in fact did not give Dr. Jeremiah a pass for trying to fundraise for the Word of Faith movement, but instead tried to contact him a number of times and that they just simply ignored him and his efforts. That's a whole lot different, a whole lot different rather, than just giving somebody a free pass, Mr. House. Sorry. <clears throat> and as I sort of read more on the topic, because this happened throughout the day yesterday, uh, it was, it became clear to me that Mr. House actually seems to have a scorched earth policy for people who disagree with him. Uh, yeah, what he does is, if you don't, agree with him wholeheartedly and jump on his persecution bandwagon. He tries to burn you, everything around you, and anyone that has anything to do with you. And I believe that that's actually what he was trying to do with Mr. Justin Peters. From a strategic standpoint, it makes some sense. I mean, certainly it's been used in military history. Russia, for example, had a scorched earth policy in dealing with Nazi Germany. And ultimately it worked because they helped win the Second World War. But to use this as a strategy 
with your brothers in Christ is shameful. I'm not a fan of brother at law with brother, to quote 1 Corinthians. I really believe that, you know, I, I think we're, uh, we're better than that. And we're bigger than that. We are the redeemed of the Lord. And if we can't treat each other with honor and respect, especially when we're not treated with honor and respect, then, you know, I think we're kind of not following Christ. I'll just say it plainly. Um, yeah. Mr. House, you really, really need to apologize to Justin Peters. You need to do it humbly, and you need to do it immediately. Because if you don't, you're giving us and the Lord a bad name. Read Jeremiah chapter 3 and find out what the Lord did to those people who gave him a bad name. Now, Mr. Peters, you and I don't know each other, but I have nothing but respect for you and for your ministry. I gotta tell you, I, I was actually saved in a Word of Faith church. So yeah, even in the darkest places of the planet, I suppose, but um, yeah. And it was after an ex-Catholic charismatic shared the gospel with me. And I still ended up in the reform camp, so, you know, don't tell me there's no God. I got to tell you, I really like the tenor of your ministry. I really like the things that you do. And I really like the grace that you address the topic with. Because you are approaching it as one who loves people, one who loves the Lord, the Lord's people, and you are trying to steer them away from false teachers and teaching. And that, sir, is the job of a shepherd, a pastor. And, sir, you do it well. So let me close on that note. It's a high note, and I, I like to close on high notes. I'm Jerry Brinkman. This is BereanNation.com. Keep studying the scriptures daily to see if these things are so.